All right, Uma Fikan. Uh Some time ago, I put up several videos um, uh, talking about traditional martial arts. And uh, I thought that those videos would suffice. And that people generally would understand where I was coming from. Obviously, they have not because I still see comments and I still see certain things, which is all right. But I know where it comes from. It generally comes from the fact that um, I haven't been as clear. And other people, obviously, if, if either haven't said anything in support of traditional martial arts or they haven't been as clear either. So I am going to put up a series of videos putting forth why I support traditional martial arts. I'm going to start with this video here. I will probably end with three videos. All right, so bear with me. First of all, when I talk about martial arts, when I save Carmen, talk about martial arts and support traditional martial arts with a passion, I am not talking about Kung Fu or Taekwondo, nor am I talking about sport karate. I am talking about the karate, the hard style karate that I was taught from black instructors and, and Japanese instructors in hard style karate in the 60s and the 70s. That is what I'm talking about. I am not talking about the mall commercial type of karate that is being taught now in many schools where people are so worried about insurance that they actually do not teach hardcore fighting karate. I am not talking about that. I understand why many of you think that is useless. I agree. It is useless. So I am talking about an era, an era, the 60s, the 60s and 70s, where people did, did not necessarily depend on students coming in. Therefore, they were not worried about running students away. Therefore, they taught extremely hard. If you stayed, you stayed. If you didn't stay, you didn't stay. But if you did stay, you learned how to fight. And you learned how to fight against anyone who practiced any style and often with people who had weapons. All right? So... Let me first start out by being clear. I am not talking about the martial arts that many of you probably under the age of 40 have been in contact with. I am not talking about that. I'm talking about the karate as it was taught in the inner city and by a very selected group of Japanese teachers, all right, from in the 60s and the 70s. All right, so that's what I'm talking about. Next, let's understand that in Febu on February 12th, 1963, many of you don't know this, in fact, most of you don't know this, but February 12th, 1963, a gym in Thailand, gym, a famous gym of Muay Thai fighters, challenged Masoyama to bring his karate fighters over to Thailand for a series of three fights. The result was those karate fighters taught by Maso Tatsuoyama, the Kyokushin style of karate. Those three fighters ended up fighting to a two-to-one win. They beat the Muay Thai fighters two-to-one. Two of the victories ended by the karate fighters knocking out the Muay Thai fighters with punches to the head. The one karate fighter that lost was not even one of the people that was supposed to fight. Actually, he was one of the teachers who was not even scheduled to fight. The third person who was supposed to fight had gotten injured while training. This happened February 12, 1963. Do your research. You also hear me talking about a tournament in 1975 that took place in Harlem, given by Master Fred Hamilton. This was a full contact, bare knuckle tournament. The only thing you could wear would be a mouthpiece and a cup, or the only protective gear you could have was a mouthpiece and a cup. You had boxers, you had Muay Thai fighters, you had Bandu, in other words, Burmese, uh, for some of you who, who aren't familiar with Burmese martial arts, uh, Burmese kickboxers, you had Kung Fu, and you had Karate. With all of those styles, the lightweight division was won by Happy Robot Crump, Karate the K.A. system of karate, which was created by a black man, uh, but is Japanese-based. Many of the styles are Japanese-based, and you can see that, although there is some boxing in there and some very original, like the robot style. It's very original, never seen in any other style. But if you see the maneuvers, many of that is many of it is Japanese-based, from the kicks, the punches, etc., many of the punches, etc. 
in addition to boxing punches. But if you saw the cage system in kata and kata competition, the category it would be in would be hard style Japanese. So happy robot crump of the cage system. He won the lightweight division. The middleweight division was won by a Shotokan stylist, Errol Bennett, one of the greatest fighters to come out of the Northeast, if not the country. Goju Ryu stylist, the great Fred Miller, won the light heavyweight division. And the heavyweight division was split between a Shotokan stylist, David Wells, a student of Fred Hamilton, and Earl Thompson, a student of Kareem Abdullah, the K system. Again, hard style Japanese-based karate. So we had Kung Fu, Muay Thai, Boxing, Karate, Burmese Bando, and all four divisions, lightweight, middleweight, light heavyweight, and heavyweight, were all won by karate practitioners. Now, I have some photos. Don't take my word for it. You can do your research, but I have some photos for you. Bear with me. Hopefully you can see this is one of my few karate teachers, a man by the name of Errol Bennett. Here, he is fighting a Burmese bando artist, okay? Burmese kickboxing bando artist. What happened? Errol Bennett won with a knockout, a traditional roundhouse, traditional Shotokan roundhouse kick to the temple, knocked him out cold, all right? This man, the man in the white, Shotokan stylist Earl Bennett. Okay, bear with me. Here we have a Kung Fu artist. One of the greatest Kung Fu artists. One of the few Kung Fu artists that would put his reputation and his style on the line and fight. A man by the name of Tiari Cassell. Here he is losing to Happy Robot Crump. Right here of the KA system. Losing to Happy Robot Crump. Hopefully you can see it. All right, there you go. All right, in the white, happy crump karate. So we see a full contact, bare knuckle tournament. Everything goes, everything except eye gouging, but some people did eye gouge. And you had boxing, Muay Thai, Bando, Burmese boxing, Kung Fu. Every style represented was represented at that particular uh, tournament. And all divisions were won by Karate. This is a fact. Do your research. Why? Because those people who won were trained in the 60s and the 70s in the very hard manner of hard style karate as taught in the inner cities, that some, which some people call it, and in the ghetto, where, uh, which is actually what I call it. So that is the era I'm talking about. When I talk about martial arts, I am not talking about the commercial martial arts that many of you know now. I am talking about the hard style karate that was taught generally in the inner city by the minorities to people like myself in the 60s and 70s. All right? So, I'll get back to you in part two. Uma Fight Camp, save Carmen, train hard, train smart. See you in the next video.